working as a program assistant with UNESCO Myanmar ICT for Education project. Everyone is talking about the growth of mobile technologies in my country, and it is very exciting. But in rural areas like my village, the use of these devices is happening more slowly than in the cities. UNESCO is targeting these marginalized communities by introducing ICT for education to teachers and students at 31 schools in rural and semi-rural areas. In the partnership with the Department of Basic Education, UNESCO has been delivering professional development on ICT pedagogy integration because we know that teachers are the key to ICT being used to improve student learning. Because so many of our teachers have very little access to technology two years ago, we needed to begin with the basic skills, word processing, presentation software, spreadsheets. We taught them how to access the internet and find resources. As they became more comfortable, we introduced them to tablets, and the English mobile learning application UNESCO developed that allows teachers to interact with students. This was a big step for many of the teachers, and they did great. But too often in many development projects, teachers attend trainings and feel excited. But then after the trainings, they return back to their schools alone, and they lose the momentum of their learning. When I met with the teachers for the last time before school year began, the teachers were afraid. They were afraid the student would not listen. They were afraid the devices would break in their hands. They were afraid because they were about to begin teaching differently than they have ever done before. I told them that UNESCO and the Department of Business Education team members will support them and to begin step by step. Just after school began, we traveled to the schools. It is not always easy, but it is essential to support teachers in their old schools. During our first visits, the teachers were struggling because it was their first time. They were not confident in front of their students but we listened to them, we encouraged them. And we provided more training of the English mobile learning application and the other resources such as Khan Academy Math Video with Myanmar subtitles. We also model techniques to successfully manage 60 to 70 students with tablets in one classroom. After eight months of trainings and support, the teachers are now using ICT to engage their students and create student-centered lessons. And I see them being more confident. Their colleagues now see them as leaders on the use of ICT for education. Many have even begun to train other teachers at their schools. One day in the future, when we look back at this time, we will know that we were the first teachers of Myanmar to use mobile ICT to teach our students and give them a bright future.